Aproko, I think we'll fire us as a question. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The People Democratic Party candidate told absolute lies as a president. The presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party PDP for the 2023 election, Atiku Abubaka, was on Tuesday, January 17, 2023, embroiled in a war of wars with former Minister of Education, Obi Ezekwasili. The ground story, Atiku, while speaking at an event organized by Nigerian Economic Summit Group, NESG said as the head of the economic management team while he was vice president 1999 to 2007. He was instrumental in designing a private sector revival strategy and advocated, and advocated for the opening of the economy for private sector investment in several sectors. Ideas, he said, handed Nigeria tremendous progress. What's as a policy, as a person is said, was as a person in support of P2B, presidential flag bearer of the Labour Party, who served in the Lushako Basenjo administration along with Atiku, said the People Democratic Party candidate told absurd lies, adding that Atiku was never the head of the economic management team. Atiku's campaign replies as a question. But quote tweeting the SY Mines and Steel Minister's claim, Paul Eber, the media aide to Atiku slammed the female politician for resorting to jaredness apropos pettiness. Meanwhile, Chatham House disclosed that Atiku has remained silent to the invitation. <laughs> hey, goodness, these people can never cease to amaze me. So now they call, now we have to say, as I was saying, they call Apropo now. Because she tells him a lie. But why would you come as a lie? Some people here, yeah, some people get my idea. Things that can be verified, they are coming out to lie about. And this thing is because Africans, we know they reach, most especially the way they from Nigeria. We know they go do research. If I didn't bring these people, if they come as I come talk something, we'll go research them, eh? And they tell you, no, they will not say all these things, they don't come as I did one. Because some people do not hear, so far say they don't hear, say they will share one money, or if you vote for this person, they don't care again. One thing I don't like about those politicians is, is they are not on the same page. Lies will be the weapon. Okay, is that once they're not on the same page, lies will be the weapon to use against each other. All be claiming sent here was one of the problems. Did all be claim sent? All be no claim sent now. Nah. All be as a person is just saying it is not true. That Atiku was never. So I'm saying, you know, Abi, it was Atiku the head of the whatever. Why she wanted to privatize all federal government secondary school in Nigeria? Erifai knows how to handle this woman. She cannot talk about Erifai because she's on tape with Erifai. Obi cannot be trusted. I don't understand. But wait to. But wait to. It was Atiku now. Should Atiku come out? He should come out and tell us now. <laughs> because I've said it before. Don't discredit the message because of the messenger. Was Atiku the head of that particular, uh, what's it called? Was he the head of the, what did he say he was the head of again? That he served as, I think he was never the head of the economic management team. Was he the head or not? It is what we want to hear now. That's the truth you want to hear. Stop attacking Atiku because he's utilizing his fundamental right to contest. All politicians are thieves, no exception, except the ones that have not been caught. I think the only offense that Tim committed is that he did not abandon his right to contest and support to be. Policies and life are not like that. Just pray for the will of God this time around. Do not forget the 2015 change we all voted for. I don't understand. Yeah, well, how is what you're saying in line with? Atiku is a deceased screaming for his last meeting spree of Nigeria's treasury. Do you know these politicians, most of them coming out to fight for presidency? Do you notice something about them? All of them get money. So what do they for that city where they won't go? Huh. Now so like lie want to copy the number. Okay, okay, now so lies lies want to occupy the number one seat. My own is is as or be as a positive, wrong or right. All these talks will not make article not to win. Nigerians have made up their minds on it. Which are the Nigerians? Or can make with the clear, they're clear. 
Well, Kamis, you don't count me among you. Hey, Atiku is lying, like Red Omokri, who was the PA to Orubebe, SA to Jonathan. Omokri has currently been claiming he was an special advisor to Gigi, their all liars. Wahala. Begin of new things for food. At the time you saw, the thing is, was all being as the person lying or not? That is the my own. If she is not lying, then why are people dragging her? She did not call him petty. She only said na lie. You just say they talk something that they can't say, Lori wrong, they see the truth here. They don't no attack you. You know, they did not come outside and tell you. So how is that supposed to be? Now wow. Now wow for us. Well, Nigerians make on our brains up. The February twenty fifth is almost here. It's next month. You just have how many months left? I mean days left. So brace up. I also want to remind us that um, I think, like I said earlier before, we don't fact check whatever we are being told. I think we should start doing it. If politicians come out and sell anything to us or tell us something, I think we should fact check it very, very well, so that we are going to know where we are coming from and where we are going to fact check it very, very well. All right. So, um, one thing I'm going to say is, anyway, if you ask me, if you ask me, I've said it separately here, that Atiku is not even supposed to be on the ballot. Yes, he's not supposed to be on the ballot. We are having a sitting nothing president himself and Kwan Paso. But the thing, why I'm not speaking so much on Kwan Paso is even the Kwan Paso, we are not even hearing so much about him today. We're not hearing so much about him. In fact, sometimes I'll ask the question, are you sure he's not going to step down for somebody because we know they hear. We know they hear anything about Kwan Kwasu. Yes, it is possible he's doing things at the background, but we're not hearing anything about him. So both of them are not even supposed to be on the ballot, if you ask me. And I didn't think we are united as a country. You see, as a Tigo and Kwan Kwasu is come outside, now so they go use go back inside. We, are not even going to, we, don't need, we don't need to even say anything on election day, we will just ignore, you know. Next time, eh? Next time, when they won't come out, they will come. Out, they will make sure say they are following the rotational, you know, we have been doing between north and south, so that they no go cause kasala. Not this thing they cause problem. Imagine that, let's say for instance, now we have a southern president and two other southerners come out. Hey. <laughs> And this is one of the two others who come and say they can't be South and Christian Christian. Do you think that they not to be quiet like this? Most people they won't take it now. They will start threatening. That is when they will start threatening their blood with flu. Nigerians, a GMA soon. Make you do what? Let us make sure you use your PVC wisely and go smartly on election day. Huh? A word or sentences and phrases repeated, repeated various times. Is enough for the ones. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.